Hey guys, so what up here, and welcome to NASCAR Heat 4. I, oh my god, it's finally here. It's finally here. I'm playing it on, on the 6th, but you probably won't be seeing this until the 9th. That's when I'm supposed to legally <laughs> release this. So, I've only had this game for 5 or 6 hours, and I thought, you know, I wanted to get a feel for the game and, and everything, and oh my god, I, I want to give a big shout out first and foremost, or before I get into everything else, to... 704, Zane, for getting me an early copy like this. I, I appreciate the crap out of it. It means a lot to me. And I, I just can't wait to get into this group and end the game because it's different. It's very different. So we're going to start my career. I did a little bit of practicing off camera for it just to get a, get a, get a little taste of it and, and the dirt stuff. And we're going to get into it. So we'll start it up. Start my full career, so we'll start from the, you know, Dirt Tour and then work our way up. But obviously there's, you know, an option where you can pick whatever you want. So, it's good stuff. And this is where we're going to probably spend a lot of my time in this video. Just, you know, getting a driver. But, what driver will I go with? NASCAR Heat Evolution, I went with Urza. NASCAR Heat 2, I went with... Android 18 and Heat 3, I did the same as well. What will I do different here? Well, we're going with Nico Robin from One Piece. I have to. I just, I got to. The best character ever of all time to ever grace across the earth. I, I got to go with it. Also, watch One Piece. That, that show's super freaking amazing, by the way. I just want to plug that too because, holy shit, it's amazing. Oh, that's kind of, well, not really accurate, but, I mean, she did wear purple at one point, but that's <laughs> that's about the best I can get. I don't, I don't think we're going to get very close to it, but I'm going to try. Ooh, okay, we got hair options. Okay, I didn't, okay, there's a lot of options. <laughs> okay, this is going to this is gonna take me a while. There's not many girl haircuts. I've just now kind of uh, seen that now. Well, that, that really rustles my jimmies. I really... I mean, has she, yeah, she's worn a ponytail, I think, at some point. Okay, I guess that's close enough. I can't, I, I guess, I don't know. I guess I'm asking for a lot. Hair, it's just straight black. Just straight black. Eh, yeah, that's close enough. I mean, I, it, it, you know, it, 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 it's pretty, it's okay. Eh. Oh, 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 no, no, eh, eh, that's, that's okay. Oh, no, no, no. We're just, you know what? We're just going to leave it right in the middle. Eyes. Now, that's an interesting debate because sometimes well, her eyes originally are supposed to be a different color and then they change and then it was changed for, for the movies. But we're going to make them blue. Very clear, very vibrantly blue. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. We could really stretch the eyes out. Okay, well, that's, um. Ooh. You know what? We're just gonna go, we're just gonna go right down the middle. Oh, oh God! Oh, you know what? We're just gonna that that's okay. We're just gonna leave it right down the middle. Oh, nose option. Oh man, Nico Robin has the most unique nose in in One Piece. I don't think there's any way I can accurately recreate that unless I go for the ugliest one possible. But that would make me insult her. And I can't, I can't do that. There we go. I mean, the bridge, I get that. The bridge, I can get it kind of close. Because, like, her her bridge is, like, square. So, I, I, I can kind of do that. Um, shout out to the game for actually letting me rotate and do whatever I feel like. So, that's that's nice. So, I appreciate that. That's about the closest I can do. Really, and the only big thing I can change is just the bridge. That's, like, kind of accurate to it. But then again, I guess I can make the fullness, like, the shape. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Uh, you know what? We're just going to leave that as is. You know what's interesting? I don't... Did, oh, oh, we, we're going we're gonna to have to figure this out here with the mouth. I mean, can't really... I can make it very small, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh, that's a big lip. <laughs> I don't know. You know, we're just going to... I don't know. I'd rather just leave it right down the middle. I just, I don't... I'm terrible. Ooh. What? Eh. Eh. The, the length? Oh. Oh, God. What? Oh, okay. That's the just the lighting. I thought... 
thought the I thought her chin was collapsing underneath itself. I thought I, thought I was seeing this the skeleton. That's not the case. Eh, it's I, I'm trying. Oh, ooh, we can change the style of the hat. Oh, I wish we had like a cowboy hat because you used to wear that in the earlier arcs. That would be so wild. But this is cool though. I like the like the hat accessory. That's that's neat. We'll kind of go with the relaxed one. I think that's usually the kind I always wear. So style, uh, I'm not sure which one I'll go with. Three colors. Four uh, front pattern. We'll we'll go with the three color. Primary will be purple, and then the second one will be. I guess I can make it black as like a shout out to the uh, Annie's Lobby and like Water Seven arc because that arc is freaking amazing, and the accent. We can make it blue, like your like your eyes. It's kind of a mishmash of colors, but you know what? It's my character. I'm getting really passionate about this, but we can pick whatever we want on here. So, not really sure which one I'll even really want to go with. Uh, maybe none because we're just broke. That we want to. Ooh, glasses. I mean, she did wear glasses in one of the openings, but that generally no. And oh man, we got a lot. There's a lot of options here. Ooh, ooh, got to make her like as thin as possible. Uh, no, uh, that's yeah, about the volume. She's see the problem is because she's thin but also busty, so it's like it's it's not it, see that's the thing with One Piece. It's like it's very hard to recreate that sort of body type type because it's just it's not possible. But you know what? That's the best I can do. Ooh, outfit styles too. That's even nicer. That's ooh, ooh. I like that. I like that combination. That I like. That. I'm gonna go with that. That looks. That looks hot. Not, again, not really quite sure what sponsor to go with. Uh, maybe maybe we'll just go with like the the very like underfunded look for this season. Maybe I'll change it later. Oh no no. Yeah, we'll go with the underfoot look. I like that just approach. Maybe I'll change it for like maybe the second season or something, but Yeah, and there you go. That's not really Close to what she looks like, but you know what I tried so We'll continue Yep, save changes Hot new phenom sets sights on conquering extreme dirt tour. Is Nico Robin the next big thing? You bet! You bet game! I mm, I, I absolutely agree. I think so Hello, Warren. It's been a while. Hey there, heard you shot in a stream door tour. My name is Warren. I represent great racers like yourself. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good to hear. Uh, one of the teams I represent wants to give you an opportunity for yourself. Are you in? Absolutely. freaking lootly. Oh. Oh, it just kind of throw me in. Well, I was going to talk about the settings, but, um, uh, it's, <laughs> how do I even say it? There's just so much to, like, to, to go into. Um, I have it on Legend, which is the hardest difficulty. The AI have the most tire fall off that you can put. I have like like normal wear, but the wear is times four. I just bang my hand off to my desk. Ow! But that's like the general settings. The race length is like twenty five percent. So yeah, I don't have stages on because with how short these these are, it's like I don't really feel like doing like five laps and then stage break. So that's why I'm. I'm doing so that that's the that's the, the, the you'll see it after this race but I didn't obviously it's, you can see the stuff I saved from the my last run that I did off camera in the curve mode just getting used to the game so that that was the adjustment I put on like because the sliders are still one through nine but you have uh it's just kind of it's just that now so it's at a seven or seven clicks to the right that's what uh, I'm gonna kinda try to go with um again I don't know if I need a full-blown setup quite yet, or if this is just okay. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna do some. Pr I don't really think I need practice. Eh, yeah, might as well. I might as well place it, play it safe. Okay, so oh my god, I as soon as I got the game, I put my headphones in, I listened to the game, and holy crap, man, it's 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 quite disgusting how much better the game sounds. Like it's 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 quite sickening, honestly. I. It's, it's a whole other beast. And the handling of the dirt cars, you definitely get a lot more sideways. That's one thing I've learned from this. 
nice. And you don't scrub off as much speed. So that's also very nice. But obviously we're in a... I believe this is a three-star car, so we're not really going to be fast at all. But at the very least, we should not be last. Again, I'm not quite sure what I'll do like once our hot seat stuff is over. Uh, I guess this is a hot seat. <laughs> I should have said that. It's a hot seat. But they didn't say that right away. But they, they will. So after uh, practice done, we can return to the garage, and you see another cool th uh, cool thing that I didn't even know about was uh, when you, you do a couple laps, you get money. You get some sort of sponsor bonus, so that's nice. Any little bit helps. So Yeah, I'm sure as you move up through the ranks, you'll get a lot more. The reward will get better, but that's what it is for me. So we're, we're going to get right into qualifying. I almost have a good feeling we're going to be last or almost close to last. You can just tell <laughs> our lap times aren't even close to what the, the pole is, so... Um, yeah, I I just know we're gonna start last. Right, just, we're gonna have to try to somehow get a do good in the race. Off turn four. Eh, yeah, that's just it's not. Yeah, last. Maybe not last if somebody gets D and Q to gets put in the back. So I mean that's nice, but yeah, it's oh boy, we're four days. I'm. <laughs> oh. Hopefully, we'll find some magic in the race. Look at that. I mean, we already moved up to 22nd because of D&Qs. But, yeah, let's get into it. So, obviously, Tony Stewart's in the Dirt Series. He's, uh, you know, after he retired, he's uh, he's become an ultimate tryhard and just, you know, destroying the competition from what I've seen. But Aubrey Scott is really fast today, so that that's scary. But, yeah, there you go. Let's, you know... <laughs> Let's try to do something here. I mean, we have to get 22nd, which that doesn't sound that hard, but with how slow we are, that might be really difficult. And we already got put back to last. Actually, nobody got DNQ'd. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so stupid. <laughs> That's the goal position. But as you see, we actually got a decent launch on the start. We're just kind of keeping the car pinned to the bottom. And we're actually gaining some ground here, so that's pretty damn good. Again, like the Dirt Series, from what I've, I've done, it's like, you know, each track is a lot harder than others, but, man, we just don't have the speed. Like, this track, it's not insanely hard, but then another one will be really hard, and then another one will be, like, eh, it's pretty hard, and it's like, there's varying levels of it. But as of right now, we're doing okay, but as you see, we just do not have the straightaway speed at all. So I'm hoping that as I play this, I'll get to see you know, how the game is balanced when it comes to the AI and uh, your you know, car when you start a team and everything, because I don't want it to be like how it was in E3 where, like, 70 to 85 really didn't do anything to the car whatsoever, so I'm hoping this year it's not like that at all. But again, I just have to wait and see as I get further through the career mode. But as of right now, I mean, this is pretty okay. Like, very, very average, very, uh, I mean, definitely above expectation. Just kind of chilling on the bottom here, but as long as I keep doing that, we should be able to get that objective goal very easily. As good dog, <laughs> good god, it Glavka. She, she really wanted to go. We'll lose 19th spot to Scott Hag, and yeah, it's, it's just it's just there's not a whole lot to <laughs> whole lot to to go into now. I'm just just gonna try to survive. We're actually gonna be put a lap down, so we. I guess that's good. We'll have to, you know, have one less lap to go around the track, so I guess that's nice. Yeah, and also I have the field spread to wide, so it field, you know, spreads out. And from what I've seen, even at Daytona, it's actually not as bad as I thought. It's not, like, totally spread out. It's not like NASCAR Heat, of, uh, NASCAR Heat Evolution. Like, it's not like that when it, when it comes to wide at the sugar place. That, that's one thing I noticed, too, so it's not that... It's not like egregious or anything, so it's pretty fair, I would I would say, when it comes to that. And I think wide might be is probably where I'm gonna go with with the AI as well. The only I think I have them compressed for the restarts because I feel like that's kind of uh, realistic in a sense, where they're just really antsy on the start, but everything else is spread out. So I think that's the setting I'll go with again. This game has so many damn options that you can pretty much play it and adjust it to however preference you want, which is you know it's nice. Maybe time consuming though, that's the only thing I'm not sure people will be up for that. But if you do take that time, I'm, I'm sure you'll find something that works for you. I hope not. Just the same. Scott, is that? 
No, that that's somebody else. But Scott Hag was in that car last game, so that's interesting. But yeah, we're twentieth. We're we got Caleb Stevenson back there, and then Anthony Norton like two like two and a half seconds back. So either way, we're gonna get our objective, even if this guy gets past us. So I'm okay with that. It just man, it's just oh, I didn't mean to hit him. I didn't mean to hit him again. He didn't wreck. Okay, good. I, I'm kind of liking this. I mean, we're just kind of chilling right now, but I mean, even right, even you know, right now, uh, we're kind of keeping up with Stevenson a little bit, and at least I'm racing somebody. <laughs> That's nice. That's one thing I remember in Heat Three, where if you had a three-star car, it's almost like you never had anybody to race with. But hey, we're racing with somebody, so that's nice. I, I appreciate that. And we're not going to go a lap down, but we definitely got a lot of fast cars behind us. So I'm hoping they don't run me over. And we just kind of stay on the bottom and just let them, you know, just just get out of our way. Or get out of my way, I guess. Well, I'm in their way, I guess. That makes more sense. <laughs> I didn't know the race was over. I did it again. I think I did that last year, too, at some point. I 95, that's... You know, I think if I maybe put in a setup or maybe something to increase the gear ratio, I think I could probably get something better. So, that's what I'm hoping for. I wanted to show the replay because if you have it on the, oh, oops, the full replay, you can toggle the overlay off, which is nice. What I'm hoping for maybe in a patch is for the like regular stuff, like the uh, 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 small, medium, and long replays, you can be able to toggle that off as well. The only thing it says is toggle music. So again, I have that turned off, so it's not really a problem, but yeah, I don't know. It's just something to note. Finishing results, we were two laps down, and Tony Stewart got second place. Pretty cool, but Leslie Gomez got the win, and I mean, we got our uh, goal of 22nd or better. Barely, but we got nonetheless, so that's always good, and I guess we'll move on to the next uh, hot seat event of, of sorts. I hope you had fun. What you did is called a hot seat. So, yep, there you go. Hot seat is a team that has a need for a driver in an upcoming race. I'll contact you when another opening comes along. Okay, thank you, Born Vingus. Vigus? Did I say Vingus? I think it's Vigus, but point is, we got some money. Hooray. <laughs> so we'll just wait. Yeah, we got a uh, payout of $250. Hooray. <laughs> oh, man, from humble beginnings. Todd Laguerre, he went from being a driver I hated right out of the gate in Heat 3, and then he's immediately being nice to me. It's probably because I'm a, I'm, this character's a girl and he's trying to handle me. That's probably why. But yeah. Um, okay. So we'll have just raced. And then we'll have another week where we get to see if we get the hot seat. So we'll continue that and see if we get the offer. It rings. <laughs> and no offer, of course. That's messed up. So we'll get to see who wins at Eldora. And it's Tony Stewart, of course. What? Oh, that's not even, it's not fair. It's his own track. Of course he's going to, he's going to have so much track time to practice. Like it's, that's, that that's dirty, Tony. I don't, did you get that dirty? Because dirt series. I tried. Okay, here's our career mode settings here. I just wanted to show that hour. I, I banged my hand off the desk again, but I'm getting excited. <laughs> so damage, I don't know why it's not on full, but we'll put it to full. Uh, manual, expert, uh, actually we'll go here. Yeah, so actually, difficulties on legend, full damage, 25%. Normal tire wear rates, player tire uh, grip fall off is normal. And on driving, we have all this off. Skill range on wide. Our starting spread is compressed. Mechanical failures is on normal. More effect for the AI and faster fuel consumption for the AI as well. So it seems like these settings, at least for now, feel like the most balanced for the game for, for me and like what I want to see when I play it. So that's just what I'm going to go with. But that, that's our settings, so we'll save that. And that should, you know, keep everything as is. And we'll try to get another another damn hot seat but we're just not getting them right now just nobody wants me we got race five and that's at ooh bristol let's see if we can get that here and oh okay it feels so 
<laughs> it feels so modern like it's just like the like that cell phone thing it just it looks like my my phone <laughs> like the layout and like some of the stuff is like it feels like windows 10 sort of layout it's 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 very very modern if that if that's the word but we point is we got a actually we got a four star ride you can use your help in the number 20 card bristle this thursday get a top 10 finish you might consider working with you 625 for a top 10 that's pretty pretty big a uh, big uh, goal to try to reach i don't know if i can do that but i think for this one we'll definitely try to uh, put in a definitely adjust the second gear so we can up that up just a little bit on the, just so we get a little more rpms and that, that'll probably be the only thing I'll, I'll adjust with it other than than that it's, we'll see i gotta i gotta practice and get a feel for it. i'm sure i'll probably still be a decent bit off the pace so maybe it won't be as bad i just did the setup it's at a, a 105 per second gear instead of the one flat i'll we'll see that gets us a little bit better top speed but our rpms are almost hacking out so that's good now one thing i was noticing at least from when I did my, you know, fake pretend career mode here at Bristol, is that I can actually run the outside line, and the AI can not really pass me. Like, I actually have a fighting chance up there. Which is freaking wild. Like, it's, this game, it's mind-boggling how, like, certain stuff like that is in here. I mean, that's, that's I don't know, it's just, it just blows me away, so that that's huge. And then when we get to the Cup Series and other stuff, I remember I did a Cup Race at Bristol and just, you know, off-camera and stuff just to get a feel for the track because my, my brethren, homie G, sliced, oh, <laughs> sliced bread back, okay, sliced bread, Ed tested it out and I was like, no, oh, I want to try it out, so I did and holy shit, it's like really fun. For the first, like, 14 laps, because I had done like four times where, so I'm sure the laps will differ, but the first 14 laps I had... I was able to go on the bottom lane with no problem, but then as the tires began to fall off, I was able to migrate up to the high side, and I was getting a lot better and faster, and it's usable. So, holy shit, Bristol, I don't think that, I don't know if the times are quite right still, but they're definitely a lot faster. I could be wrong on the lap times maybe not being accurate, but in terms of driving, it is not at all like Key 3. It's, it's not a, like a chore, it doesn't just... Uh, stop turning off the corners and stuff. Even on, when it's very worn, it gets very slippery, but doesn't just get plowing tight. At least from, like, I guess what I did. I think I had it on a eight clicks to the right for the for the slider thing. But that's, that's what I experienced, and it's so good. I'm surprised. You know, I, I thought it was $62 signing bonus. So better the lap time, the more, okay. That makes sense. So we got our, our goal was a 16.5, and our time really wasn't anywhere near that at all. Still, so we're very off the pace. We're about a second. But I don't even know if we can even get a top 10 with that. But I'll try qualifying. Maybe we won't start last. Off turn four. I don't think that was a good lap. No, nah, that's not a second off. 20th though. That's not. That's not bad. But top 10. I. I don't think that's possible. Hey, but. The, the one thing I remember complaining about was not being able to, like, manually scroll up and down the qualifying results. And so now you can do that. Hooray! And Tyler Garrison on pole. Well, goddamn. I remember at Bristol, I think we wrecked here, so... Maybe I'm thinking of Windbound's videos. I don't know. But... <laughs> yeah. Well, we're, okay, we're starting 19th. But we're on the inside line, so that's good. But I don't know. I don't know. But we're gonna hope. That's all we can do. So... Lula Cobb. It's a bit slow. Tyler on pole and Golovka. Engine change after qualifying. Well, that explains why I gained a spot. So here we go. 25 laps. I think it's 25. I'm pretty sure it's 25. I think the only laps that's not 25 is at Jefferson and Richmond. I don't know, man. I just, I just don't, I just don't see it working out. But again, we do have a little bit of RPM speed and something, somebody stacked up terribly. And we're going to get up to 15th, maybe 14th, but... Oh, God, he's down the inside. Okay, outside, outside line, you better work. I've been saying it works. You better... Oh, see, it actually worked. Oh, it's just very difficult. But, I mean, 16th isn't bad, but it's just... 
it's not good enough, though. That's the problem. Like, we, they're, they're setting their expectations very high for ourselves in our second ever dirt start. Ah, just, it's just not enough. Is Sean Wilson to my outside? <laughs> well, speaking of that, ooh, oh, we actually gained a spot. It's just, what's crazy, too, is we actually have a, actually some decent speed in it. So that's nice. And we're just not, you know, blowing through the field. So it does seem like the AI are a little bit more balanced in terms of the difficulty and, you know, being a three-star ride doesn't mean you're just automatically trash or a four-star doesn't really matter. It seems like it's a little bit more balanced, which is nice. I think if, even if I have a full-blown custom setup, I think I could probably get a little bit better, but not, like, I wouldn't just immediately start playing, at least to my knowledge. This is, I mean, it's, got, it's gone well, but it's just not the goal we need. Last couple of laps, I've just been nailing some pretty good lap times. Very consistent, I would say. But again, we're just not, we're just not quick enough, and just kind of stuck here at 14th. Not bad, but we're actually gonna get put a lap down here. So yet again, we are two races in, and we have yet to actually. Oh my God! Get, who was that? What the? Who? What? <laughs> we got back on the lead lap barely. Or we were just about to go lap down. Who the hell was it? Greg Wills? No, well, that's not Sean Wilson in the car anymore. That's gotta suck. I mean, he was in that car last year. Now he's not. But Lula Cobb is pitting. Interesting. So, the only thing we got going for ourselves is maybe get a cheeky restart and try to get it up in the top 10. That's really the only thing I can think of. But the problem is we're on the outside. So, I can't, like, cut it to the bottom and cheese it a little bit. At least I don't think so. Not sure. But we're gonna, we're gonna try. No, no, it didn't work. So nine to go. I guess that's the first actual caution of the crew. I'm really just trying to live my life and race, and just just really wanted that spot, and he ended up wrecking for me. So also, the, also too, I think I showed it, but I wanted to reiterate that the AI are on like normal stability, so. They're normal. They're not like super, uh, like tough or super loose or whatever. So it's just kind of normal. I mean, we did actually gain some ground on that start, but again, it's just nowhere near enough to get a top ten. We might actually gain a net. We might gain a net positive here of one, maybe two. But I don't know. It's just I don't know. It's just like we're carrying a lot more speed, but it's just. I don't know. Whoa, my God, that car got... I really thought I was going to get it hooked. I really thought I was going to get hooked there and my life was going to end. I, I just... I'm just kidding. Okay, that's hot. Not going to lie. That, that's, that's a little bit hot. I'm able to use the outside line. I'm not, like, completely falling off the face of the earth and dying like that. That is beautiful. It's very, I'll say it's pretty tough to, to get it down, but once you can just a little bit, oh my god, it's it's amazing. But there's this, is he going to wreck himself? No. Oh my god, I saw one on two wheels. Damn it. This, I just, we're just not going to get our goal. I, this, this is heartbreaking. Then again, they're really asking a lot from me here at Bristol, where it's like a high-speed track. I don't really think... I almost, I almost got my nose poked in. I messed up. White flag for three wide. Good God. Who Boswell. Hooray, no ping-ponging, but good. Oh. I tried. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. Oh, he's not even for precision. I got worried for nothing. Okay, we'll take 13th. That's that's nice, but it's not really uh, where I wanted to finish those. So that, that's very unfortunate. But we did get on the lead lap. I was just saying I was not going to be on the lead lap, but I was wrong. Todd Laguerre just smashed the field. I mean, nobody had a chance, so... Um, we'll do another hot seat race here. 16.2. I wasn't going to... I was like a second and a half off, I think. I don't know. But hopefully the next race we get to isn't uh, a power track and we can maybe get that goal position thing. Yeah. Amazingly, we got four fans out of that, so that's cool. But yeah, we didn't get the... 
Yeah, thank you. Nico Robin, racing and dirt can be tricky. Hope you're keeping the pool. Good luck. Well, thank you, Leslie Goldmith. That's nice of you. Well, we'll move on to the next one and see whatever offer they give us. I don't know if it'll be this one or the next race. I'm not. I can't remember. Oh, okay. It's right away. All right. I'll take it. Where is it at again? Okay, Texas. We need a top 10. Okay, it keeps us in a you know four-star ride still. Okay, this one might be doable. I'm going to definitely do some practicing and definitely do that basic adjustment to the second gear of the car. And I, I think maybe a top 10 is doable. Best lap time we've gotten was a 16.2 in this uh, lobby. I think in the other, you know, career mode thing that I was testing out off camera, I got a 16.198 in race trim. And we're still a good seven or eight tenths off the, the gold time, which I believe should be about the pole lap roughly. Well, we got pretty close. We should be pretty good in race trim, I think. I'm not totally sure, but I'm going to do the qualifying here. I'm going to focus with my sweat mode controller. This is a new controller, well, but it's warm. But this is my sweat mode controller, so I got to I gotta put it into good use here. Nice little runoff turn forward. The thing is pretty tight off the exit, but 16.5, about a... Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um, oh my, this is uh, this is going to be a lot tougher than I thought. And Tony Stewart, of course, Mr. Tryhard himself, leading in the qualifying. We're starting 20 seconds, so nobody got put in the back. Well, this is... Oh, man, I wanna, I'll show you the thing. This is all I have. This is default, and... Yeah, that's really... Uh, this is going to be tough. I thought I was going to get a little bit better. I mean, just just got a hunch. So Danny Hoffman is slow. I, I was in that car. I know what it's like. Scott Weekend. Scott Weekend. What? That's not even close. I try to make, merge his name and... Oh, my God. Well, uh, we'll see what this car has in race trim. It's certainly got to be better than 22nd. At least I would hope so. Because if not, that's going to be very sad. Because we're in a better car and then that shouldn't be. And we'll get to the bottom right away. And already getting kind of punted. Oh, using golly here as a, as a turning stone, so that, that helps. But one thing I was noticing in qualifying and even in practice, the thing is just very... Like, it turns, and then right off the corner it gets tight. I, I, I think it's because three wheels are only on the track and one's off the track, so that could be why. I'm not sure, but I don't know. But definitely, uh, I mean, okay, start with a gain a couple spots, but certainly not... A top 10 run like they're expecting me to so i don't know unless we get lucky or something i mean todd laguerre just drilled the outside wall and that's gonna stack up a lot of people so maybe we do have a chance i don't know they're just all over the place though like my god but hey people some oh. i just want to get back to the bottom somehow some way we're p15 i i was gonna say somehow some way we were 15th there for a second but kind of subsided and it's gonna get tight it's gonna get tight oh, oh okay is that rb scott rb scott whatever your name is oh my god hey that no i was gonna uh, i thought the outside line was gonna work for a second maybe so just need to get by that one car that's just oh my god this, they're so damn sideways well i guess we'll be in 15th for now maybe no 16th 15th 14th we're three wide. We're three wide. There's so much action on the track, I can't even articulate it right now. It's just, we're like three wide here, then they're two by two, sort of, and oh, we just had a little bit more engine. That was a, a freaking bonsai move and a half. Oh my god. I I just want to get to the inside in order. I, mean, I, just, I couldn't do it. But look at him go, though. Good for him. I wish I could do that. We're in 12th right now, still doing okay. We got 16 laps to go, though, and we're about to actually get 11th, which I really didn't expect. I thought it was kind of clipping out there, but the only problem is how are we going to get to 10th, though? Like, it's just, I don't know. If we have another car that kind of falls off the pace, it, we might have a chance, but again, 10th place is like a good almost three seconds in front of us, so unless they get caught up in like some traffic or something, I don't know how, but unless whoever is Leslie Gomez chokes a lot maybe we can pass them but as of right now we're kind of in our own little zone so i'm just gonna try to hope 
something something happens, or even if we can get a yellow, I guess I can maybe cheese a top 10 there. Going through, it's going to get biased here, so he will put us a lap down. Now, that's the only thing that could pose a threat, is just him getting around lap traffic, and therefore he will get by, or maybe he can run into them or something. I don't know. Oh my god. Well, that's the race for the lead. I just completely just Newmaned to poor Brock, but... I don't know. It's just, like, even Scott Hag is... We're just, we're just too far back. I just, it's just, it's just not much I can do. Just try and let these guys go by. I kind of put myself in the wall there a little bit, but Scott Hag is definitely choking a lot. So, I mean, maybe we can close in, but then again, we got Dennis all of a sudden just packing the heat, just flying through the field. So I don't know if I can, I don't know. It's five to go, and I mean, we're gaining, but it's so back and forth and we gain some then we lose some it just it's flopping back and forth way too much way too inconsistent it's just not enough and it just, it just really it's very frustrating as the laps continue to you know, wind down as i continue to hit the wall like a scrub we're actually lapping cars that are in like 24th and 23rd that's a mess of cars right there i just want to point out todd laguerre that was really not needed is he, is he really gonna cause problems already Apparently so, but yeah, it's white flag time, and we're just too far back. But yeah, as, as I was saying, we're actually lapping cars from like 24th and even 23rd, you see up there in the distance. So. Damn. But it's just not enough. I, I ran almost a perfect race, in, except for that last corner, but... Ugh, take 11th. I, I couldn't really, I couldn't do any better than that. I just, that was, I just, I, I just, it just wasn't possible. We did end up going a lap down, obviously. There was only, oh man, eight cars on lead lap. And Cody Brock won it. And I don't know. I just I just couldn't do anything. I just, oh, man, I tried so damn hard. But it just, it just didn't matter. 15-1. And I think our best lap time is at 16-2. So, again, we're still a good second up the pace, roughly. So, that sucks. That hurts. That hurts. I mean, we're, I mean, we did pretty good, but it's just not enough, and we don't get the payout or anything like that. And we made some impressive progress with those hot seats. We can't wait to see what your team did. Tough choice. I only have one choice, Caleb. I only have literally one choice. Okay? I'm not that good yet. But, let's see. I know the season... Oh, the season ended. No, I thought we had one more race. That was three, wasn't it? I think it was three. Well, damn, there's not that much hot seat races this season. Okay. Uh, but it's never too early to start playing for next year. Oh, man, I don't know what to do. I mean, I don't even, like, we don't, we barely even have enough money to do. Oh, man. I don't even have a four-star ride either. It's going to be a three-star. Oh, that's going to be rough. Like, even if I start a team right now, like, we don't have any money, though, to do that. So, um, but I want to see what starting a team is like. Because I remember in Heat 3 was like, the first, first season we were terrible, and then the second season we were really good. So I want to try that and see if, it, if, the, if it's been improved in that aspect. So uh, begrudgingly, against all odds and everything I just said, we're going to start a team. It may be brutal, I don't know, but hey, that's what we got editing for. So we're going to start a team, uh, same branding stuff as usual, but we'll go with uh, uh, Channel Racing, because why not? we got McCabe's. Uh, well, McCabe's has a better payout, but the signing bonus is more in Glavka. Is that spelled right? Is it really? It is? I don't know. Boy, this is... I'm bad at spelling. <laughs> we'll go with McCabe's just because the payout per race is better. Every track has its own distinct features. Each will fall into a particular category. Each car's build is customized to capitalize on the unique aspects of a particular track type. So, okay. It's like last year. So, we're obviously going to go with short track for now because that's the first one of the season. And that kind of makes the most sense. So, we'll purchase that. And employees will help you prepare and improve your cars for upcoming races. Okay. So, yep. Uh, employee skills indicates... How much of an impact they'll have when they sign a given object. 
Check their specialist design, see which department they gravitate towards the most. Okay, yeah, I remember, I, that's what I did last year, so. It's kind of cool that that's a thing now in the game where it's like certain people for certain stuff, so hooray. But yeah, we're going to go with Korra, because, you know, it's really the only, I mean, we kind of need engine power, so. Yeah, I'm just going to pick her. And I think that'll be it. I mean, I think we have the signing bonus that can help us out a little bit. And employee skills can be upgraded through training, but only up to their limit for this tutorial cannot increase any skill value above five. Okay. Uh, okay, it already factored in the uh, sign up bonus. So. I mean, I can't, yeah. We'll go with five for now because that's all we can really afford, so that's what we'll do. It's important to prepare your cards before taking them to a race. Yep, I agree. Uh, to prepare a car, you'll have to assign employees to work on the car's individual systems. Mm hmm. And so each system accumulates improvements over time as a personal, as personnel are assigned to it. However, you'll never be able to improve any system beyond its department limit. Okay. So, um, there you go. So we'll put her on there. Once you have all the employees assigned, press start work and assign work. Button. Okay. And we could hire another person for this if we have enough money. But I don't even know if we do. No, I, I can't. I don't, I'm not, I don't. Why do menus always hurt me? Like, I, it's always my fault I keep messing. Okay, I guess we'll start working and go with that. So, 75 on the engine. That's not, you know, great, but it's not the worst. <laughs> For this tutorial, you get an extra work session before the... <gasps> Yay, we get an extra work session. Okay, I forgot. Oh, oh, we get to edit the car. Unfortunately, from what I remember, it's like the same as P3, where it's very just... You could just change the colors. I... It baffles me. I don't know why that's a thing. Also, the number stuff, that will be in a patch or in an update in the game, so that will be coming to the game as well, so uh, that will be on wait. But for now, we'll probably go with 8 because why not? Boy, this is like a mishmash of like maybe a good color design, but at the same time, not really. It's, it's, it's quite a mess. But you know what? It's a representation of me, so you know what? I'm okay with that. We'll go with pink because Robin's outfit in the Zoe arc of One Piece is really cool and I like it. It's cute. So we'll go with that. And that will be uh, that'll be it for the car customization. And I guess that pretty much begins our season. So next part we'll you know dial delve into the you know the dirt series season and try not to finish last. I guess I don't know. But great, you'll have every. I'll get you everything started up. So it's all in place. Okay, thank you, Warren. And I, I there we go. I'll, we're gonna be a try to win a championship. Well, maybe not this season, but maybe for season two. I don't know. I'm just guessing. We're good to go. I think we have all the markings for a great season. You sure? I mean, you, Warren. I don't. I don't. I just. I don't. I just don't know. He's very optimistic. I guess. I guess we'll give him that. So, your sponsors will provide with opportunities to earn more money through incentive contracts. Okay, I remember this from E2 and 3 and E Evolution. <laughs> These incentive contracts will improve as your standings improve. Okay. Well, we're going to go with the lowest of the low for now because no way we're going to get top 10s. So, we'll go with easy. And our first race will be at Vegas. So, uh, I guess there's that. And you have enough money to purchase more grades. Okay. And my team, you can hire and train your employees from my team tab. Okay. Uh, from here, you can train any of your employees. Okay. If you have an open position, you can hire new employees here as well. The pool of employees updates each after each race. Okay. With every car. I do like how this is laid out. It's more, it's more simpler for my brain. So I appreciate that game. So. Yeah. And also, uh, future plans. And also we have the About Me stuff, which is, has your reputa reputation for friends and rivals. And also the full stat breakdown, which I like. This is a huge step up. Because, good God almighty, we got uh, we got champions, wins, top 5s, top 10s, top 20s, polls, laps led, and total laps, as well as you know seasons and, and total races. I like I would like for it to be like broken down like year by year, but this is still a very good start. So I'm, I'm proud. I'm very happy. So that will do it for this part, kind of a long one, but it is the first part, and I wanted to kind of get into all the the basic stuff and get into the, the regular 
season stuff. And also, maybe, maybe, just maybe, I, I'm having fun with it. I don't know. But that'll do it for me in this part. I hope you enjoyed. Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters at Down Rollins, Weather Bros, Comic House of Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave 500, Champ 15, Alan Gray, Motorsports Games, Robert Dillon, Zach Page, and NASCAR Number Psych.org for a donation again. I can't thank guys enough for your contribution and support to the channel every single week and month and day like this. It always means a lot, and I'm just very appreciative and thankful for the support, like usual. I'll see you all next part for the beginning of our Dirt Series season. I don't know how many I'll do per part. Maybe two, maybe three. I don't know. It just depends on how it goes, but we'll see. But anyways, that'll do it for me. I'll show you the settings that we'll do in Karuma just for the people that stuck around this long. So... I'll scroll, through, I'll scroll through this real quick because there's just a lot to kind of go through. But this is what I'll have for, I think, the majority of the career mode. I don't know if I'll change it at any point, but that's at least from what I've done so far in the, like, seven or eight to ten races I've done already in this game. I think that's a, I think that's the best setting. I'm not sure, but that's just me. But either way, um, that'll, that'll do it. So I'll see you all in the next part, and I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.